Armenian art in the 17th through 20th centuries. In the 17th century, Nagashes appeared in Armenian art. They were special painters who had led secular lives and executed orders. Their primary work was the interior design of churches. They formed groups and worked this way. Later, in addition to church decoration, they began painting with oils and tempera. Unfortunately, only a small number of these works of art were preserved. Much of this art is now in the Armenian Picture Gallery in Echmiatin Vehran. The influence of European painters in these works of art is evident. How did Nagashes encounter their work? Perhaps the European painters' works of art had been introduced to Nagashes through carvings or copies of famous works of art and themes. They made what they had seen in Armenian style and related it on Armenian base. That is why Nagashe's works describe Armenian life and surroundings. The characters in their paintings have Armenian eyes. In the Nagashe's works, not only do the characters stare at us with Armenian eyes, but also the rich and colorful decorations are localized. Among them, there are many works of art that are notable for their prototypes of original genre, portraits, still lines, and landscapes. The spiritual paintings of the 17th and 18th centuries are distinguished by their special beauty, and they attract the viewer with their amazing sincerity and charm. The Nagashe's works of art have had a unique position in the history of Armenian painting. This period is one of the most interesting in Armenian art. These works were done particularly in the towns where Armenians were the majority of the population. The first painter who worked in the European style was Hakop Hovnatanyan, 1806 to 1881, a descendant of the famous Hovnatanyan family. Three generations of this family had important positions in Armenian art of the 17th and 18th centuries. Hakop Hovnatanyan was born in Tbilisi and achieved the rank of St. Petersburg's master painter of portrait art. About 70 portraits of the most popular and remarkable painter of Tbilisi were preserved. His pictures have special color refinement, deep psychology, and sharp imagery. His portraits were done in order to memorialize the artist's models. Hovnatanyan painted his models when they were in the most successful period of their lives. Hakop Hovnatanyan lived and worked in Tbilisi until the mid-1870s, but soon photography appeared and he left the painting sphere of Tbilisi. He left for Tehran lived there for some days, and finished the last days of his successful life. Among many painters, Hakop Hovnatanyan was the most popular in Tbilisi, and one of the most important figures in Armenian art. Another painter who lived and worked in Tbilisi was Stepan Narcissian, the creator of the first and most popular picture of genre painting, a picture on the Kura Bank, 1860. In this canvas, there is a merging of everyday scenes and landscapes. Stepan Narcissian also painted many portraits, the most popular of which is the portrait of the General Bebutov from 1857. After Hovnatanyan, Armenian painting gained greater contact with Russian and European painting. The reason is the fact that Armenian painters of those days were educated in Russia. Gevorg Bashin Jangyan 1857-1925, was a well-known painter. He graduated from Petersburg Academy. He was the first to paint Armenia's magnificent nature. His subjects included Mount Ararat and Lake Sivan, icons of the Armenian landscape. Bashin Jagyan's best landscapes are full of love, sincere feeling, and great patriotism. It is impossible to understand Armenian art, without the world-renowned painter of seascapes, Hovnes Ivazovsky, 1817-1901. He was a native child of two cultures, Russian and Armenian. His brush was moved by the passionate Armenian temperament and the Russian painting school. Most of his pictures were of Armenian subjects and related to Armenian painting. More than 60 famous pictures of this great master are in the Armenian Picture Gallery. Vardagay Suranyants, a well-known artist, stage painter, and designer, 
lived and worked between the 19th and 20th centuries. He was born in Ach al-Tzaha, 1860 to 1921, and studied in the Munich Painter Academy. His pictures were influenced by European and modern art. Surenyans was the first to use historical themes. He is the founder of this genre of painting. The following pictures are worthy of mention. Shamiriam by the Body of Ara Beautiful, 1899. Salome, 1909. Portrait of the Catholicos Mekertich Hermirian, 1906. Being a great patriot, Surenyans couldn't remain indifferent to the Armenian genocide of the 19th century in Turkey, and he expressed his bitterness in his work. One such painting is Violation of a Holy Place, an image full of tragedy that defined one artistic stage of his life. St. Heripsime Monastery near Echmiatsin stands out among his landscapes. This work of art is saturated with uneasy thoughts of homeland and national destiny. Surinyans was a highly intellectual person, and he knew his nation's history well. His art is one of the finest chapters of Armenian culture. He is the founder of tragic subjects in Armenian art, and they became the main subject for Armenian painters. Yagishe Tatevosyan, 1870-1936, is Surinyans's young contemporary. He was born in Moscow and was friendly with many Russian painters. Early in his career, he was fond of genre painting, though later, in the beginning of the 20th century, he turned to painting landscapes and portraits. He created several famous pictures on biblical subjects, among them Christ and Pharisee, Genius and Crowd is on a philosophical subject. His well-known picture, Komitas on Lake Sivan's Bank, was made in 1893. He also did hundreds of sketches that are fine examples of Armenian painting done in an impressionistic style. Stepan Agajanyan, 1863 to 1941, was another eminent portrait painter. He was born in Karabakh and educated in France. His many portraits are convincing, realistic, and philosophical, and they are painted with a light but sure hand. Examples include Portrait of the Singer Bronkina and his self-portrait. Thanos Terlemezian, 1869-1941, was a brilliant painter. The landscape painter was born in Vaughan and educated in France. His best works of art are landscapes of Armenia and Constantinople. Armenian painters were isolated from each other for several reasons. National art was developing abroad before the formation of the Armenian Soviet Republic. The originality of Armenian painting was dictated by the separation of the artists from their homeland. Armenian art from painters living in foreign countries is an indivisible part of Armenian painting. To a certain extent, Sarian's works exhibit this. About two decades of his life, he lived in the Russian region. Sarian's first works, Dreams and Fairy Characters, are saturated with symbolism. Most of these pictures were done during his journey through Turkey, Egypt, and Greece. Sarian didn't confine himself to a single genre. He painted landscapes, portraits, still lines, illustrated books, and stages. Sarian worked with tempera, watercolors, oils, and different graphic materials. He found a special Sarian style a poetic spirit that made him always contemporary, always new and leading. He is the founder of the Armenian painting school of the 20th century. Sarian depicted his native land in its new life. He created bright, colorful, deep portraits, painting both popular figures and ordinary people. He mastered artistic generalizations which are typical only for high, perfect art. Sedrak Arakelyan 1884 to 1942, is a master of landscapes. He created many small artistic canvases and genre works. Hakob Kojoyan was a great painter. 
Kajoyan is the founder of Armenian graphic art and its brilliant representative. In the 1920s and the 1930s, he painted several well-known canvases, including Canteen in Tabriz, Street in Tabriz, and The Execution of Communists in Tatev. These are the first works on the revolutionary subject in Armenian painting. Later, Kajoyan devoted himself to graphic art and book illustration and created real masterpieces. These included illustrations of the epos Sasunsi David, the fairy tale Hazaran Balbul, and the illustrations of Charence's works. Repatriate painters played a great role in post-war art that gave a fresh breath to artistic searches. Among these painters, Harutyun Galensi, 1910-1967, is worthy of mentioning. His art is refined and lyrical. Galensi painted fine landscapes, still lines, and portraits. His fresh, pure and colorful palette is one of the highest achievements of Armenian national art. The art of Armenian painters working in Tbilisi became a real invention for Armenia's painting art. Noteworthy in this area is Alexander Bajbeuk Malikian, 1891 to 1966, whose art started a new trend. The unrivaled painter made pictures of small size and sensual character where the actions are like a fantasy. Gevor Gregorian, an inhabitant of Tbilisi, 1897 to 1976, has a special place in Armenian painting. His style is devoid of unnecessary luxury. It is extremely restrained, aesthetic in color and shape, and simultaneously very deep and impressive. Another Armenian painter, Hovsep Karalov, also lived and worked in Tbilisi. He was popular with his small, rich scenes depicting the life of old Tbilisi. Among the great masters of the 20th century, Ervan Kochar is a master of the highest rank. He is well known as a great sculptor and painter, but he also has many graphic works. He was born in Tbilisi, worked in Paris for many years, and reached great fame and glory. During these years, he created his famous spatial paintings. It was a new style and contributed to modern world art. In 1936, Kochar returned to Yerevan. With regard to the thousandth anniversary of the national saga, Sasunsi David, many graphic chapters were created by him. These works became great achievements for Armenian art. Kochar continued to work at Sasunsi David's character, and its striking result is the famous statue of the hero. This is a strong, dynamic horse statue that embodies a national patriotic spirit. In 1975, Kochar's other important monument was opened in Yerevan. It is the statue of a real historical individual and a leader of the liberation movement, Vartan Mamikonyan. Hakob Gurjan is another important sculptor. He was born in Shushi, educated in France, and was a student of Rodin's. Gurjian was a sculptor of European standards. His wide variety of art astonishes with its perfect quality, fine style, and natural plasticity. Almost all of his art is in the National Gallery. Gurjian's best works are Gargin Hovsepian, 1935, and the portraits The Artist Pascar, 1933, 